My favorite festival is Coachella, but dying to go to Gubball this year because the lineup is great. My favorite festival, definitely Coachella. I love how there is a wide variety of music, a wide variety of people, and you can wear literally whatever you want. But my dream festival to go to is Ultra. I haven't been to that one yet, and it is such fun vibes. I always do the live streams, so hoping to make it there someday. A favorite festival, I've been to Lollapalooza in Chicago, so that was super fun. I remember I was wearing kind of like florally stuff, and I had a floral, <laughs> floral crown at the time, but that was probably my favorite festival that I've ever been to. My favorite music festival has to be Coachella, of course. I've gone five years back to back. I haven't been in a while, obviously, just like you guys, but I can't wait to go back. Hi, I'm Patty. My name is Erin. Hi, I'm Allie. My name's Alana. My name is Erin. I'm McKenna. My name is Lauren. I'm Andy. Hi, my name is Sabrina. My name is Gracie. And then after college, I was really lucky to stumble upon a good foundation at Soul Society. And I was an assistant buyer there and just grew, grown in the ranks. And um, now I'm a buyer. When I turned 16, I had a retail job and that kind of introduced me to the styling aspect. In college, I studied apparel merchandising. Um, I think it set me up really well um, to work as a buyer, an assistant buyer. I went to the University of Arizona and studied retail and consumer science. So basically studying why people shop and buy what they buy. And there were a lot of different classes in merchandising. So I grew up in the fashion industry and my dad had a swimwear line that I kind of grew up watching him build. Um, so we used to go comp shopping together and I would help him build out collections, which was really fun. So I knew from a really young age that I wanted to go into fashion and kind of do my own thing. Anywhere would have to be Bali. If I could go anywhere right now, it'd be to Greece. Mexico, India. If I could go anywhere right now, I would get my invitation to Fashion Week and I would be sitting front row with a crazy outfit and have lots of fun with my friends. I feel like I would be wearing all these dresses and cover-ups and just being all day in the sun. I would wear one of the unstoppable dresses, either the ivory or the fuchsia. Um, just a really cute night out. And I would probably wear like our fun prints like this set. We have a ton of fun prints coming in spring and summer. I'd wear a traditional sari and I would love to go to an Indian wedding. I've never been to one before. If I could go anywhere right now, I would go to Australia and see my sister and my nephew. And I would wear probably some cutout sundresses and summer clothes. It's summer day. have to be Rihanna because she's just such a showstopper. She has such great confidence and owns it and just kind of pushes all the boundaries. I love Shay Mitchell. I think she has a really cool streetwear style and knows how to dress it up and dress it down and her hair is always on point and so is her makeup. Bella Hadid, I would also say um, Rihanna is another one. Love her. She's so bold and um, I would also say Kendall Jenner as well. I have a million style icons. I love Audrey Hepburn, um, Kate Moss, I just mentioned Cher. Kelsey De Prima and Delaney Childs. They are have an amazing aesthetic, love their style. My favorite part of working in the fashion industry is the chaos, honestly. <laughs> One thing that I love about the fashion industry is how fast paced it is and it's always changing. And I'm able to work with product every day and I just am able to use my creativity, which I love. Networking is key, especially in our industry. And I always recommend to you having a business card or some contact info. You start in customer service. That's really how you get to learn the product, the people who comes to your store or your website. And it's a good idea if you can't go to a school like FITM or if you live far away um, to maybe do a degree in business just to get a general idea and then you could dip your feet into a lot of different jobs before you figure out what you want to do or whether it's shadowing a stylist shadowing a buyer shadowing a digital content creator really learn from people who do know a lot about the industry and you present a really strong portfolio if you have one um, i would also say just kind of trust in your process um, feel the energy of the different places you go and if you're hard working you will find the place that's perfect for you work really hard and have that effort um 
you gotta kind of make it your whole life. Um, you should be inspired by everything around you and just be so passionate and so excited because the whole industry, everyone who works in it, they see that and um, it's really important. A lot of fashion is working with a lot of team members and I think like whether you're interviewing for a job or you're like starting somewhere new, like you definitely want to be you know a positive energy you had two candidates that you were looking at you're definitely going to go with the one that you are you can see yourself uh being around every day in the fashion industry it's very fast paced i would say you have to really react and pivot your business um, really quickly i would say it's extremely fast paced and um, exciting and fun, and especially here where we're constantly bringing in new trends and new styles to try. It's very exciting, it's very fast paced, um, it's very creative, and um, in many different ways, there's so many things that you can learn, and it's a very vibrant industry. Being in a small company, every voice is heard, no matter what role you are, so I really do enjoy that. You get your hands on everything and you see all of the small parts of the business and you also have a lot of contact with your customer base, so that's really exciting and it's something that you really don't get at larger companies. Don't do anything weird with like your hair or anything. Um, it's really hard to fix. It's okay. You'll learn how to dress later on in life and to not look at old pictures of yourself. Really invest in good basic pieces and then add in like fun, um, like this blouse and fun pants that you can wear like over basics since so you can wear them multiple different ways. Know that you're gonna grow into yourself and know that you're gonna grow into what you really love. And so, um, yeah, just know that you're a blossoming flower. And just wear the thing that you love. Um, don't be nervous if somebody is gonna think you look silly because you actually look really cool and you're probably ahead of the trend. So just rock it. I'm gonna wear high heels with the sweatpants, like Allie, right here. And I would say both. Honestly, um, I love being casual, even if you could do like a great sweatpant with a heel. So I'd wear high heels all day and then come home and immediately change into sweatpants. Sweatpants or heels? I would have to say denim. <laughs> To have a style is to have your own unique taste um, and to just kind of rock it with confidence no matter what it is. I think somebody can be stylish if they feel confident in whatever they're wearing. I think this question is incredibly subjective. Having style just means kind of embracing your personality and letting it shine through in what you wear every day. Depending on the person, the culture, where you come from, what you like, what you don't like, and really seeing what looks good on your body and what fits you in a way that makes you feel great. And to me, to have style is to have your own unique taste um, and to just kind of rock it with confidence no matter what it is. weekend for me looks like sleeping in of course and I love staying up late so staying up late watching a movie or finding new bars to go to with my friends and doing some self-care maybe going to the beach because we're in LA and why not on the weekends I actually do shoot my own content of myself basically 24 7 Monday through Sunday I am constantly shooting content I'm obsessed with it and it's my passion and I don't see myself getting sick of it anytime soon I definitely find a lot of rest and and restoration, just being in nature. Um, I love going on hikes and just doing anything that can kind of get me outdoors. Um, I recently moved to re uh, Marina, so I've been doing a lot of bike riding and walking, so that's really been great. What do I like to do on the weekends? Um, I spend a lot of time at the beach. Nothing. Well, my obvious answer is that I like to sleep a lot. I will sleep, I'm not kidding you, the entire weekend. But other than that, I like to go to the gym and hang out with my friends. It would be the company Bureau Batek because he is the one who does all the visuals and the setup for fashion shows 
and I would love to just be able to work with him and see how he comes up with those ideas. It would probably be Sam Damashek. Um, I absolutely love his vision for photography and his creative direction. If I could collaborate with anybody, I would go for festival season and I would collaborate with Cher because she has crazy wild taste and I love it and it's so exciting and different, so I would go with Cher. One of my favorite hotels is the Proper Hotel and that's by Kelly Wessler and she is just like super great at like combining all these like fabrics and different textures and I think that it could be a really cool collaboration. And the future of fashion is just the styles that come back um, from different decades and seeing kind of how like the various trends adapt. Just really seeing brands embrace inclusivity um, and really just seeing what that turns into, what that morphs into, I think that's great. I would also say sustainability as well because it gives us the opportunity to really solve um, issues that we're currently facing in the world. The most exciting thing about the future of fashion is the awareness that everybody is starting to build. So um, moving into more sustainable kind of fabrics, um, how to leave a lighter footprint, you can start to actually do some good with the things that you're buying. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any more questions regarding the fashion industry, make sure that you comment down below. But in our next video, we're going to be taking you behind the scenes of our festival shoot. So stay tuned for that.